What's going on guys? The White Ninja 636 here. I just got into a tiny fender bender. Of course, the convenience of having a camera, it wasn't on. 100% charge and it was not running because I was in heavy traffic and nobody wants to see traffic, so I didn't have it on. But um, I'm gonna attempt to break it down for you. There was an accident on my left already and what was stopping your traffic. The individual in front of me was doing the like, like on the brake the entire time, and then kind of going and then braking real hard. Cause I think she might've been texting. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Uh, but from my vantage point, there was a lot of like looking down. So that was kind of what I gathered from it. So I don't, again, it happened pretty quickly. So it's kind of hard to say. Um, but I guess I should go back to the common rider mistakes. Cause I think I can finally hone in on that. It's called don't being a fucking idiot. So yeah, um, she stopped. I didn't for whatever reason. I couldn't really tell you if I was like looking the side. I mean, I thought I was just looking straight. And you know, I locked up the brakes. Pretty much just grab a fistful and a, and a footful. And hit it. Hit the rear end of her car. It was an SUV, a Jeep. And kind of went, I don't want to say over the handlebars because that's probably a little dramatic, but you know. Kind of like flail to the side, um, went down. The front of my end is pretty jacked up as I'm riding it, yes. It seems like most of it's plastics. I mean, you can see it just like bobbling around, like the windscreen isn't anywhere good and stuff like that. Everyone was okay in it. You know, I wasn't injured, the, the driver wasn't injured, so that's that's good. The Jeep has a little bit of damage, um, mostly some scrapes. It's got a little dent as well nothing nothing serious so i get instead of enjoying this perfect weather that's finally fucking hit here today i was just planning on going to my buddies we we're gonna watch the hawks game and now i got this fucking shit to deal with oh my god it's such a pain in the ass um anyways that was my buddy he said he's gonna come help me so where i'm at with this is i'm gonna kind of bring you up a topic that i kind of meant to bring up just because you know at some point it's relevant and now it's relevant one of the thing, the downsides about having a motorcycle, especially with the group that doesn't necessarily ride a motorcycle, I keep on looking at my mirrors and they're like flailed way the fuck up. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Aaron. Hey Aaron. Um, everybody's looking at me. Nobody's looking at me because I look cool anymore. They're like, well, you know you have a jacked up bike, right? <laughs> Aaron's gonna, if there's one person to get in an accident and then see right after, it's definitely Aaron. Aaron's gonna make me feel great. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to pizza, wings and hopefully a Hawks win. Um, but yeah, the one down part about getting a bike with the group like that is, you know, as, as supportive as everyone can be, everybody's fucking waiting to say I told you so. Every single person is waiting to say it. I mean, you know they are. And you know, the biker community, I, I posted a picture to Instagram and you know, sent some message to my buddies that I ride with. And they're all super supportive, you know, obviously. You know, are you okay? Do you anything I can do? Let me know. But you know that there's going to be a handful of people, especially family members, who are going to be like, oh my, I knew it. I knew you shouldn't have got that motorcycle. And I'm just really dreading that because I don't care if I, I mean, obviously I don't want to get in an accident or anything like that. But people don't ride in the scenario that they're like, oh my God, I'm going to get in an accident. Like, that's not why we ride, you know? So if I get in an accident or a huge speeding ticket or something like that, I mean, it's because I like doing it. Don't feel sorry for me. Don't say I told you so. I'm doing it because I want to. If I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't be doing it. For those people who are like, ah, another motorcycle accident, go figure. Know that, I mean, it's pretty irrelevant what you guys think. I ride this bike because I love being out here. I'm going to get it fixed instantly. I'm sure it's not going to be cheap, but uh, I plan on getting this bike fixed up and I'm going to go from there. But I'm just really regretting the people who are out there waiting to say I told you so. That's just something that I've always thought about. Like, oh man, everybody's like, well, yeah, everybody goes down eventually. Um, which I can now mark off the list, I guess. But after hearing that so many times, time and time again, you're like, oh, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when all these stupid people that you know are going to be like, oh my God, I knew you shouldn't have been doing it. So I got that to look forward to now. Thankfully, there's not like a holiday coming up where I'm just gonna be with a bunch of family. It'll kind of go down the, the grapevine, if you will. And uh, you know, I'll hear about it then. So there it is. Um, 
I'll try to include some pictures at the end of this. Um, now I know how Goatfather feels. This is really going to damper the uh, the Moto Talk session. Wow, what am I going to do? Again, it's pretty rideable. I'm going to see what State Farm says and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, I'll keep everybody posted, obviously. Um, I'll find a way to, to get some videos going. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of footage. The best, the most ironic part about this is that on Monday, I rode with a group of guys and we were flying, like literally flying. Like, you know, I was, I topped out my bike, or at least what I believe it was topped out at. Out of all the shit that happens, I get fucking, I fucking rear end somebody going five, 10 miles an hour. Like, just how stupid. Am I going that way? I think I'm going this way. It's just one of those things that you're just like, uh, the cop that handled everything was real fucking cool, though. Um, he didn't know shit about bikes. He's like, I showed him, I was like, a lot of the plastics are pretty jacked up right now. He's like, oh, all I got is a screwdriver. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I thought it was so funny, but I thought it was hysterical. But he was cool. He's like, you know what? You know, if you're on a bike and you get in an accident, at least you can look at her hood and see that it's not fucked up. So, at least you didn't fly that far. I was like, yeah.